This is a Fiesta Ware bowl, which was made out of a glaze that contained uranium oxide. These bowls were manufactured starting in 1930s and were very popular. The thinking at the time was that the uranium would be stuck in the glaze and would be safe from causing any harm. But uranium oxide gives off three things, alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Gamma rays are electromagnetic radiation and they travel just like all electromagnetic rays do. Um, alpha particles are large, heavy particles that don't get very far before they are converted into helium. And beta particles are uh, sort of high-speed electrons and they can go quite a ways too. We can, we can measure the radiation with this Geiger counter here. And um, if we step away from step away and measure the radiation, we don't hear anything really, just the occasional bip. But as we become come closer and closer to the bowl, we hear quite a lot of radiation. These are alpha and beta particles, mostly beta, and I suppose gamma. So a couple things about this. Um, as we move away from the bowl, the counts go down. We're about a foot away now, maybe seven or eight inches away. We can do the same thing going up, straight up from the bowl. We're now about a foot above the bowl. Eighteen inches above the bowl. We can also try to stop the particles with a couple sheets of paper. That doesn't seem terribly effective. Let's add a few more. Maybe about, we now have about 10 sheets of paper. This definitely is enough to stop every alpha particle. They can't get through even one of them. We're now up to about 20 sheets of paper. about 40 sheets of paper. And about 60 sheets of paper. This is all of my paper. So, in conclusion, the alpha particles probably didn't get through a single sheet of paper, but it took quite a few more sheets of paper to block most of the beta particles.